From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories, the increasing coronavirus cases in the country, concerning for Prime Minister Minutes, but this is what he told reporters about the recent surge in cases. The vaccinated individuals are now out of the pandemic. The pandemic is finished for the vaccinated individual. The non-vaccinated individuals are still in the pandemic. The Prime Minister maintaining that vaccination is the way out of the pandemic, and he says they're actively trying to get more vaccine in country. The latest corona numbers, 38 more confirmed cases for Sunday, 33 of them in the capital, following the 100 reported on Saturday. The hospital numbers continue to go up, and that is worrying for health officials. 81 persons are now in hospital with this virus. 12 of them are in the ICU. Another death has been confirmed. That total is now 274. So could there be more restrictions if this surge continues? But if you would have discussions with the medical personnel, um, both tertiary as well as public health and um, personnel from the EOC. We would make decisions. However, our decisions would be responsible uh, to ensure that there are no additional death and to ensure that um, our economy continue to roar as it is today. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Police are looking into the death of a man whose partially decomposed body was found in a home on Horseshoe Drive here in the capital. Relatives have identified him as 65-year-old Hillary Gibson. Police will need an autopsy to determine how he died. They've searched for more than 100 hours, but the Defense Force still can't find Drew Rigby, the man missing in that boating accident more than a week ago off Rose Island. Police involved in another shooting incident, this one in Abaco. Officers shot a man in the buttocks after they say he pointed an unidentified object at police during a foot chase. Police have closed two more murder cases. They charged two men in court yesterday in connection with recent separate murders. Around 190,000 persons are now registered to vote in the next elections, according to the Parliamentary Registration Department. That is about 17,000 more than voted in 2017. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny, pop-up showers are likely. Highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. The next time is a low around 11 this morning. Next high about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Tuesday's World News headlines cleaned up underway in Germany and Belgium following the recent flooding there caused by heavy rain in the area. The death toll expected to climb as floodwaters recede. Hundreds are missing. Heavy rain reported in the Mumbai area in India. At least 11 persons are confirmed dead in flooding there. The coronavirus continues to spread in some countries. Indonesia has now passed India and Brazil as the hot spot around the world. Health officials there are scrambling to try and get that situation under control. Tribune's gas striker prices for Tuesday, Shell 509, SO 508, Rubus $5, $0.01 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section Countdown to the Olympics. The Tribune's profile today featuring Devin Charlton. The games begin July 23rd. Updates on our swimmers at the games in the Tribune Sports today. There's a report on Jazz Chisholm. 
He's going to be out maybe for the rest of the month. On the injured list, find out why. Do a dive for DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in the NBA Finals tonight. The Tribune Sports has a preview of Game 6. Soccer and cycling updates in the Tribune Sports also. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 